남자애가 나오는 거야. 남자애가 나온 걔는 너무 Hello. Um, I'm not gonna show you my face too up close because I look terrible. I mean, it doesn't look too bad on camera right now, but if you see here. I have a bunch of like needle marks and bruising on my skin and that is because my mom took me to this dermatologist <laughs> You know, I know that a lot of people come to Korea to get uh, screen uh, skin treatments done or like cosmetic surgeries done Because it's much more affordable here and it's more advanced in some ways But for me, I was pretty satisfied with the way my skin looked I know I have like acne scars and uneven skin tones, but I didn't feel like it was um, something that I needed to address or fix because I was pretty satisfied. You know, I didn't have any active acne. Yeah, I didn't do any prior research to any of the treatments that I'm going to be doing or the doctors or the uh, the hospital because that was just all done by my mom and I just like followed her. And so this, I'm not going to get into too much detail into like what treatments I did. I think I got, um, I don't like, I have the names but I don't even know what they actually do. Um, the first thing I did was subcision basically it's like for healing like scars or something basically they put like a needle through your skin and rip some I don't know <laughs> do your research I don't really know and then the second one was virtue RF it's like a machine with like a bunch of needles on it I assume um, and then the other one was juve juve look juve look juve look or juve look they call it, in Korea we call it juve look got those three done and when i was doing the consultation the doctor was like it's gonna hurt <laughs> it's gonna hurt a bit for the i think they said it was gonna hurt for like virtue rf so i was like oh my god this is not gonna be good so i was already like on the fence of getting this done because i didn't want to experience any pain when i wanted to do skin treatments in korea i was thinking more like therapeutic stuff where they put like a clay mask red light therapy and just like little warm you know, devices going over your skin and misting and stuff like that. I was expecting that, you know, I wanted to be therapeutic. But the moment I was brought into the room and they put numbing cream on my face, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Whenever they put numbing cream on your face, you better run because it's gonna hurt. Like, so I was very nervous. I didn't know what to expect because the doctor already told me it's gonna hurt a bit. So I was like, oh my God, how bad is it going to be? Because usually the doctors in Korea, they like to undersell. They like to be like, oh, it's not gonna hurt that much, but it actually hurts like hell. I was sitting there in the room, lying down on the bed for with the numbing cream on my face for about like an hour or so. And they took me to the operating room. And the first bit was not that bad. It was just like, tiny needles poking me so I was like alright it's not bad and then the second one I don't even know what it was but it was just like it was so painful and the doctor was doing it uh, and then he's like it's not that painful right because of the numbing cream I was like oh, no are you fucking high no it was so painful I don't even know if the numbing cream was that effective because it was just so painful I couldn't handle it I was just like holding my hand like pinching, pinching myself to like divert the pain elsewhere and then after that was done I was like oh my god Am I done? The machine came and then I could hear the like the sound and then I don't even know how the machine works but I assume there's like a bunch of needles on the needle like on the handle of the machine and they just like staple gun onto my skin just like cow a type of pain that I haven't experienced and it was just like I kid you not when I say it felt like a staple gun into your face it just like 
this there's a sound too it's like it's a cow cow <laughs> and then the first round was done i was like oh thank god i think i'm done and then the doctor was saying something to the nurse being like oh let's up it to point something whatever i was like oh no they're going for a second round and sure enough they went into a second round i was just like breathing really heavy and when i was done i was like shaking so much i just couldn't con control myself because it was just like so traumatic and um the removing of the mold wasn't so bad it was like a little painful but yeah, it wasn't as bad as all the different procedures I've done prior. And so when I came out of the room, of all the operating room, back to my mom, I was just like so upset. <laughs> I was so pissed. I was just like walking out and looking at my mom and like, how could you do this to me? And my mom was like shocked to see my face all cherried up because it's this there's still a bit of redness right now but i'll sh i took a video but i was just like a big gigantic chipmunk with a bunch of redness and blood and i saw the gauze the doctor was using when i was transferring to different rooms there was like blood just like this much of blood on the table on the on the tray i mean with my blood all over it i was like oh my god I don't even know what I look like, but I can tell it's going to be bad. I would say it's not worth it, but if you're really like insecure about your skin and want to do something, maybe this is for you because this the treatment I did was to like even out and smoothen your skin. And it doesn't work just by one procedure. You got to do it like at least like three or six times or something, but <laughs> I'm not doing it. I don't care. If, even if I see a um, huge result from it, like... I I thought I'd do a follow-up on the procedure and my thoughts about it and if I saw any improvements with my skin five months later. I don't know, I think it worsened my skin if anything because I don't really have any like discoloration on my, I think my left side or is it the right side? I'm not too sure, I think it's the left side. It's left side was usually cleaner than the right because um, when I was in uni, most of the acnes were on this side. So I had more scarring here, but this one was clean. But then after the procedure, I've been noticing more of a pigmentation on my left side as well. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but that's that <laughs> and because i was already satisfied with my the way my skin looked i think just doing this procedure was just not a good call on my end the bruising on my skin i'll insert a photo too but bruising on my skin lasted for about eight days and the first two nights after the procedure was gruesome because <laughs> it was so itchy that i wanted to scratch it but they tell you not to scratch your face because um it needs to heal on its own and like shed on its own and so by you scratching it could cause like scarring and the needle marks from the virtue rf like it wasn't like super visible far away but if you were to like come really close you would see like there are a bunch of like little needle marks across my cheeks and um that one went away within like maybe 10 days or so so all this goes away for sure but improvement wise i don't know i didn't see any this procedure is quite popular though because i saw a lot of um my mom when she was waiting for me at the waiting room um she saw a lot of like guys coming in and out to do the same treatment that i did which was mainly to resolve like acne scarring and uneven textures from the scarring um so yeah it's, it is very popular but i think it was like pretty pricey and i don't think i saw that big of a result so i don't know i don't think it's worth it if you have like intense skin issues and you really want to give it a go i think sure why not when i first did like my first ever like korean facial back in like 2018 um and i'll insert a photo then too because that was like pretty intense but back then i did this thing called latin peel and i did see an improvement with it because it kind of like detox my skin in some ways i don't know but it did like fade my acne scars and kind of slowed it down so i think that was necessary but at this state when i don't when you don't have like huge acne or rash like acne going on i don't think those kind of invasive procedures really necessary unless like you want to achieve like a super high quality like egg type of skin if anything i think i would just do like a skin booster shot like i think that would be okay but anything other than that like something invasive as this i don't think it's necessary for me 
Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to share. <laughs>